Peter Charles here of Hooked for Life Fly Fishing, and today let's look at the lift and the sweep into a spay cast. And I find a lot of times that poor lifts are the start of all the problems. The lift comes off the water in, a, in an inconsistent, uneven fashion. Uh, one of the typical things is to start high, and we'll show that in a video, and then pause, stop. Everything just sags and falls, and then they yank it back into the sweep, all sorts of ugly things happen and you end up with these soggy D loops, crashed anchors, you know, everything piles up. Uh, anchor placement can be inconsistent, you know, anywhere from way out in front to way behind. I mean, very common with these high lifts, the anchor's way back there somewhere. Uh, it's almost, you've almost straightened the line out. Uh, I, you know, I remember watching some guy not terribly long ago, uh, was making these very high lifts, yanking it back and his anchor would just kiss the water, his line was almost dead straight behind him in sort of a half-ass overhead cast. And, uh, you know, he was trying to do a single spank. So these kinds of problems where you've got, uh, you know, this erratic anchor, um, sloppy D-loop crashed anchors, a lot of that comes from just a bad lift followed by an attempt to recover it in the sweep, which go, makes it even worse. So let's look at uh, some bad and good examples and break it down and see what's going wrong. So here's a bad cast. We'll sit in full speed. Uh, my rod's nice and high, a big sloppy D loop, big ugly forward cast. Okay, let's break it down. Right off the bat, as I'm stripping line in, I've got my rod way up in the air and I'm stripping line in and my rod is bouncing and I'm like this. Right off the bat, that's a problem. When you're stripping, keep your rod tip pointed right at the water, nice and low. So when you're stripping, you know, your rod stays low, you're staying in contact with the fly the entire time. I mean, if you've got a way up in the air and the fish hits, good luck. Uh, that's just from the fishing standpoint, it's a bad idea. It's a bad idea from the casting standpoint as well. So here I am ready to cast and I want to show you this area here. You see this big sag right here. The line is not tight. Uh, that's, there's slack in there. And so it means when I start the sweep, this is going to produce problems. Uh, so because I was stripping high, I start the lift automatically high. It's, it's default. If you strip high, you'll start your lift up here. It's not a lift. You, you, your, your lift has already occurred when you were stripping. Now it's just a sweep. And this is where things go bad to, rock, bad to worse. So I've already started too high. And there, I talked about the lion sag. There's a big problem. Now I go even higher. Because now I'm trying to break the line out of the water. So I've already started too high. So now I've got to try and clear that sink tip. So now I'm going really high. And now, now that I've gone high, I have to sag back down again in order to try and recover. And I'm compensating for that high lift. Back up there. I'm compensating for that high lift. And you can see the line is not straight. It's all wavy. Uh, and that tells you there's really no tension in that line. It's coming back very limp. And I have to drop back in order to try and make a D-loop. And there goes a soggy D-loop and the anchor crashes down. So you end up with something that looks like this, a big piled up leader and, you know, everything's a mess. And you get tangles and all sorts of other ugly things happening. And it doesn't come out cleanly when, it, when you try to make your forward cast. The anchor does not release cleanly either. And I got this really ugly, saggy D-loop that uh, doesn't give me any energy. Now the good cast, lots of energy, goes well. Now, right off the bat, there's the difference. Very low rod position when I'm stripping. So I'm keeping everything right down. And it's the line stays tight the entire time. Now when I make my lift, the, the grip of the water is going to help me load the rod. I don't get that when the, my rod's way up in the air. So if I've been stripping my rod up in the air and begin to move, this part of the sweep, there's very little load on the rod. All I'm doing is taking up the slack in the line. But here, you'll notice that the, the line stays nice and straight and tight because of the grip of the water. 
And there, they take a look at that, how straight that is compared to what we were looking at before. Uh, and now my rod's got a load in it, so I don't have to yank it to make my sweep. All I have to do is make a smooth pull. Uh, no yanking required. So now with a tight line, this sweep will go straight back under constant tension. The line will clear the water nice and neatly, go straight back into the D loop with no trouble whatsoever. And only now when I get to the firing position back here, does my rod go high. I've stayed low all the way through, about head height, maybe just a little bit higher, all the way through, and only when I get to the firing position does the rod go up. Uh, I, you know, I don't sort of start that climb real early. You should not be climbing into the fire position, firing position while the rod is still in front of you, because the, well, that will send the anchor flying back again. Any kind of early rise in the uh, sweep is going to send the anchor flying back, and too high a lift can do the same thing, especially if you yank it off the water to try and get a load. And we'll just take a look at the difference in the D-loops. Uh, and that's the difference. That, that difference right there wasn't caused by the D-loop itself, the formation of the D-loop itself. It was caused by lousy lift, lousy sweep. The lift was way too high. There wasn't tension in the line. The rod wasn't loaded in the sweep very deeply, only, or only marginally. The line was full of slack. And uh, so there wasn't really much energy in the rod to allow the formation of a good D-loop. And if I had tried to yank it to, to get a load going, it would just made it worse. Uh, and by having a lift in a sweep that has energy in it, you get that nice D-loop. So a bad lift sends everything off in the wrong direction. And, and you you're spend all your time after that trying to recover. So, you know, I always talk about don't watch the target. And people who make bad lifts and bad sweeps are because they're looking at the target while they're doing it. They're not aware of what the rod is doing. So the rod is way up in the air while they're stripping them, but they're looking over there. And they don't know what's going on with their rod. And then when they make the lift and sweep, again, they're, they're focused on that target and, and things go wrong. So as I say, keep your rod tip low to the water when you're, when you're stripping. Start the lift with the rod low to the water. So when you, the position you're in when you're stripping, you keep it there to start your lift. And then once you've come up, you've made your lift go right into the sweep with no delay. Don't sit there and admire it, because what's going to happen, the line is just going to sag back down again, you're, and you're back to a line with a lot of slack. As I say, keep your sweep straight, about head high, and raise the rod only when you get to the back end. And that's basically it right there. So, and I'm talking about single space now, but you see a lot of the same problems with other casts. Double spay, for example. Uh, again, you're making this high lift to begin with. You set the rod over, but now when you're making the sweep, uh, those things go, go go wrong, and all the same things go wrong. The sweep is not flat, it's going up and down. Um, you start off with a yank instead of a smooth pull. A lot of the same problems. And often the bad lift, you know, leads to bad anchor placement, and then you're trying to bail or recover from the bad anchor. Just spirals downhill. So that key point of that nice lift to begin with. And it doesn't really matter what kind of cast you're using. You want that nice smooth lift into the sweep and keeping it all moving nice and neatly. Flat sweep, only raising into the firing position at the end. Doesn't matter whether it's a snap T, double spay, single spay, snake roll. You want that constant tension, nice smooth pull, slow to fast movement. And as soon as you have disconnects, because of you've done something, you know, yanked something, and then you've slowed down, then you try and speed up and recover. That's when everything goes wrong. And it usually starts with a bad lift. So keep that all in mind, and uh, your cast will go a lot more, a lot smoother than usual. Cheers.